As I told you on November 17th on my video, I believe that I have cancer in my body and I believe that Illumina and Pacific Bioscience will present the genome sequencing to identify it. Then what I have to determine is which of the five companies that I own right now are most likely to present me with the cure, the needle that can go in my arm and take that cancer out of my body to correct that mutation that I carry with me, that my mother carried with her, that my daughter carried with her, that my father carried. How are we going to get rid of that cancer? And today I want to analyze those stocks, use the analysis of other people, and come to a conclusion which is going to take me to the cure. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. As I shared in my video of November the 17th when I identified Pacific Biosciences and Illumina as the leaders in the genome sequencing, that I am invested heavily into both of those because I believe they will help me find the cure. But the first thing that has to happen is the science has to come around and be in a position to put a needle in my arm to take disease, genomic disease, out of my body and your body. But we need to identify which of the companies are furthest along and are most likely going to give us those cures. And so I've identified five companies that I've owned for probably the last 18 months, and I've taken some beatings on them because the science hasn't developed as rapidly as I thought it would. The five companies I own are Intel, Beam, Caribou, CRISPR, and Editus. What I then wanted to do was dig into them and find out what other people think. Those Wall Street analysts that analyze the stock, that have access to much more data than I do, and see what their ratings are. So what I've done is gone to Seeking Alpha and, and put together their information and organized it in a such a way for those five stocks so that, so that I can get the Wall Street and analysis of what the potential high, medium, and low price is going to be. Then what I did was for more current information, I went to my Moo Moo charts. This is where I look at my stocks every day, and adjacent to where I have the stock, it gives me a posting of the latest news, the latest analysis of those stocks. So I've gone through that and then and determined on a more current basis, what is the determination, what is the analysis? is saying the future of these stocks are. To give you an example, this morning, uh, Editus had a major downturn in its stock. The price went down 20% because they basically came out and said they are looking for partners to help them advance themselves in the future, and they're not in a position to do it on their own, which basically is telling me they're facing some financial problems. That's the kind of information I want to gather and analyze and put on a chart and say, okay, this is where I'm going from the future. Is it time to drop this stock and add to that stock? Then I want to go to the, the technical analysis and say, is this stock turning the corner? Is the 200, the 50 day and the seven day a moving average positioning in itself telling me that the momentum is going up and now is the time to add to my positions? So to do that, I want to go to my computer, share where I got the information, so that you can learn how to do this if you're not interested in genome sequencing and genome editing, but you're interested in some other stock category, you'll know the process I go through and that will help make you a better investor. Let's take a look at what I found. Okay, this is my Seeking Alpha and as you can see, I'm in the premium. And uh, uh, the first stock I'm going to look at is Intella. Uh, Intella uh, Therapeutics, it's a $49 stock. As you can see here, it's down 64% for the year, and it's down 58% uh, year to date. Uh, I, I've taken a beating. What I then want to do is go to this second category, and that's called ratings, okay? So over here, it's going to give me 
a, a analysis of the ratings, and I'm going to go to Wall Street uh, anal analysis ratings. And here it's going to tell me that uh, Wall Street overall out of five, it has a 4.27, and uh, it gives me that 14 of the analysis are strong buy, uh, 11 are a buy, three are hold, and um, one is a strong sell. Uh, over here, it gives me some more by the authors that uh, write, and they have uh, a 4.5. Wall Street, as it said, 4.27. Then what I want to do is go down here and see what the prices are. And basically, it's saying that the average price target is 109, and again, it's a $48 stock. Uh, the high is 173, the average 109, and a low of 48. And again, that 48 is probably this one guy who is basically saying it's a strong sell. So that gives me some feeling as to what the analyst, analysts are thinking about the stock. Is that important? Well, it gives me a better feeling than what Kerry is thinking about it because here I have differing opinions and different knowledge, and that should help me make a better investment decision. Here, in, in fact, it's showing what the uh, analysis over the past five years, um, what the price target was, and what, in fact, the price was. So you can see they've basically been uh, a little ahead. Here the, th the price got above what the, the target was, and now it's substantially lower. And I think that has a lot to do with the overall condition of the stock market. So that's my uh, analysis from Nintella. Now, I've done that for each of the five stocks, and I'll put that collective information together so that you can see it. The next thing I want to do is go to my Moo Moo charts and show you where I get more current information relative to how an an analysts are interpreting the current price or projected pri target price of these stocks. Okay, here, here again, I'm staying with Intella to give you some more input and, and understanding relative to the stock. And what I have done is gone through um, these stories that they put up as to uh, what stocks are, are doing and what their, the analysts are. Here you say, see it says Raymond James lowered their price target uh, on shares of Intella from 127 to 124. And again, it's a $48 stock. So that gives you a pretty good understanding. Here again, it says another one from 106 to 111. I'll share that. I've put it into an Excel spreadsheet so as to share that information. But that gives you an idea how I use uh, Moo Moo's charts to, to give me on a daily basis what the stock is doing. Now, the other thing I look at, and I've learned from Mark over on our uh, Discord, how to use technical analysis. And what I'm showing here, this is the 300 or 200 day moving average um, and on Intel and how it's moving forward. And f let me bring it up to date. Uh, it was a little shy. Okay. And the 200, this is the 50 day and this is the nine day. So you can see the stock has been hovering around and below the the uh, nine day and uh, below the uh, fifty day, but the stock is getting closer to where uh, these averages are, which tells me that the momentum is coming their way. As you can see, the the stock has just been coming straight down uh, up until. Uh, roughly um, June the 21st, and then it started moving up, and then it leveled. And so what I will r wait to see is when it crosses over those three lines. When it crosses over those three lines, and I have determined from my other information that this, in fact, is the stock I want to, uh, one of those that I want to focus on, that's when I will buy into it, and I will keep you abreast of that. So with that in mind, now let's go look at the summary of what I've done 
with um, looking at the Seeking Alpha, looking at the Moo Moo, looking at the momentum from the 200, the 50, and the ni- uh, nine day, and, and see if we can come to some conclusions. You'll find an affiliate link to both Moo Moo and uh, Seeking Alpha in the description. Uh, Moo Moo's giving away some stocks. Here's their best offer right now. And then uh, Seeking Alpha, I believe that's actually a 60% discount now. And I don't really see how you can be involved in the stock market and not have these resources available to you. There is a fee with um, Seeking Alpha, which isn't substantial, uh, but uh, Moo Moo's free and they want your business bad enough. I did a full video just the other day on how I use Moo Moo for my charting. Take a look at that as well. So, okay, I want you to look at this chart that I've put together. It's a spreadsheet uh, from Excel, and I gathered the information that I compiled from both um, Seeking Alpha and, uh, and Moo Moo. And as you can see, uh, Intella, the top one, has a range of high, average, and low, and then its rating, and it ranges from 173 down to 48. Uh, so, uh, the, the, and that was the guy who basically said it's a sell. It's not going to get any better than it is because it's currently at $50 a share. So, then on Moomoo, I have a range, I, again, going through the more current stories, have a range from 151 down to 164. So they all believe a, a, on Moomoo more currently that, they're un, that it, they're, it's underpriced. So until I feel real good about Beam, um, uh, 207 or 267, not as high as uh, Intella, um, a $46 stock. Uh, so we have some potential here. Uh, the low is uh, 49, which would be just uh, 4% of where it's at now. And again, in uh, Moo Moo, we're looking at a 217 um, percentage, which would be a $102 price and a low of 53. So both of those look pretty strong. And particularly if you'll go into um, seeking alpha, you can see, you'll find that they're both working in different areas of uh, genome therapy and genome editing. Caribou, also a good, strong, a very cheap stock at $9 a share. Um, the high believes it's going to go to 38 A low believes it's going to double. More currently, my Moo Moo News says it could go yeah, again at 38 so that, that's kind of, of a consensus, uh, 29 and 28 Um they're feeling a little bit more. Recently, they're feeling good about it. CRISPR, uh, a good strong um, 220 based on a $57 stock and uh, a low of 27 So somebody believes it's going to become half of what it is now. Um, and in the uh, Moo Moo, we're at a high of 104 Again, that's a more current and a low of 37, so there's some some dismal there. And then we come to Editus, and as I said, Editus just today went down 20%, and what I read into that is that Editus is doing some studies on um, on blindness, particularly in the field of infantile blindness, and they did a study, and they had uh, out of eight um, uh, patients, they had very positive results from two and, and nominal results from the, uh, the other six, I guess it was. And they, what, what was discouraging, they said, though, before they bring on more p- patients, they're going to go into a collaborative effort, which basically says to me, we need to get some more money in here uh, to move forward. So that tells me they're on some shaky ground. I need to dig into that a little bit deeper and, and come to a conclusion. And what my conclusion would be is if I decided I wanted to take the money out of Editus and um, uh, because I don't think they're moving in the right direction, uh, I would then take that money and put it into one of the other four. 
and that would be a decision I'll keep you informed on. So the high on Editus was a 800% um, increase up to $80. The low, uh, an actual, uh, looks like about a, a 20% drop in price, um, even below what it is today. That $9.90 represents um, what it is today. So, and then um, on Moomoo, Moo, the more current charts say uh, 11 as a high and 7 as, as a low. So they're, they're saying it could go down another 30%. So that's how I'm looking at these stocks. Now, uh, again, I've, I've, I've been sleeping with these things for about 18 months now. Uh, I understand the science. I understand that we have mutations, and a mutation is a, a mistake, a, a fallacy, a fault in our genome. Uh, God didn't give it to us. Our, inherit, our, our ancestors um, drank some bad water, smoked some bad dope, did whatever, and, and it passed it on. I, I feel that I'm certain of that, and I buy that science because, again, I said, my mother died when I was eight years old of cancer. Uh, my father died uh, when he was 80 years old, and then my daughter died when she was 40 years old. I believe, in my mind, that my daughter inherited that cancer from my mother. I believe, at the same token, she actually got it through me. So I believe that cancer's in my body. What I don't want to happen is it to go on through our bloodline. I have three grandchildren. It is my hope that we can stop it there, that through genome therapy uh, and, and genome uh, editing, we can take it out of my granddaughter's uh, eggs and we can take it out of my grandson's sperm, and cancer will no longer be in the Grinkmeyer family, in the Grinkmeyer bloodline. I am convinced this science exists. What I don't know is which of these companies or other companies are going to make it happen and how soon it's going to happen. I'm 78 years old. It is my hope I live to see this. I, it is my hope that I continue to hold these stocks because I believe this is the future of medicine, not medical care, but medical cure in our world. And I want to be a part of it, and I want to be educated on it. So as soon as it is proven, and it is, uh, it, it is no damage done, I want my family to be a part of it. And at the same token, when I believe it's going to happen, this, I'm going to own the stocks that are going to make it happen, and my family is going to benefit exponentially in wealth as, of, as a result of my due diligence and my study of this subject. I've read every damn book that anybody puts out on it. I watch every video that I can find on it, and I read every article's and the members of my tribe send me articles almost on a daily basis to keep me attuned to it. I've, I've narrowed it down to five. I may be taking it down to four. Okay, that's how I spend my day. Uh, that's what I do to keep myself active and educated and, so, and put myself in a position to make better investment decisions. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Music.